to sync your photos with your iPod Touch. Now I have my iPod plugged in and I, as you can see there's iTunes open in the window here. Um, under devices it reads the name of my iPod and you can see music, movies, TV shows, etc. on the side. Now you don't get to the photo library until you go into, you click on the, the name here and it's already open here in summary. You look up here in this bar and under photos is where you'll be able to sync your photos. Now the way iTunes likes to sync photos from your computer is they like to take an entire folder and sync from the folder as opposed to letting you drag and drop photos. I don't really like the way that's set up but there's not much you can do about it. So what you do is you choose, click this check mark to sync photos no, I'll just look at sync photos. Okay, to sync photos, and then you click on this drop down box here and click choose folder. Now, right now, I have on my desktop a folder named pictures. So I'm just going to select that and click OK. Now, right now, it only has two pictures in it for the sake of the video, so it doesn't take forever to sync. Now, uh, you can either pick to do all folders underneath or selected folders and since there's only one folder here it's only letting me click all folders. You can choose to also include videos. I don't have any videos so that's not a problem. Then go down here and click sync and up here it'll say syncing the iPod. Now the last time I did this I looked in my uh, photo library on my iPod and the ones, the pictures that I had saved from any Google image searches on my iPod were stored in the saved photos category while the ones that I synced from my computer were stored in the photo library. Now you can manually delete photos from your saved photos on the iPod as long as you save them from an internet source but you cannot delete them on the iPod when they're in the photo library. You'll have to delete them here on the computer. Depending on how big your photos are, if they're you know, several megapixels, it's going to take a while to sync all those photos to the iPod. So it might be a good idea not to do anything else on the computer while you wait, otherwise it could lock up. And iTunes has already been locking up for me for the past couple weeks. I can't run iTunes, I have to run copy trans instead. The other thing I wanted to mention about syncing your photos is that if you have say a hundred photos in your photo library on your iPod that you already synced and you decide you want to add one or two, well if you select to add that folder again you'll have to add those one or two pictures to the same folder where all those other photos are located in the library from the original sync otherwise it will replace those 100 photos with only two photos that you wanted to add. So don't ever rely on your iPod as a way to keep a backup of your photos because that's really not a good place to put them. It can be overwritten with the click of a button. Okay, now it's telling me that the iPod sync is complete. Okay to disconnect. I'm going to go over here and click this little eject button and I can disconnect it. Thanks for watching and I hope that helps you sync your photos.